name is Leah. It is Wednesday night. It is YouTube live night. Um, the Artistry Collective. There are three of us. Shauna from Preps and Scraps. Myself, Make All the Things With Me. And Christy from Christy's Crafty Cottage. We go live most Wednesdays. Some days all of us, some days some of us, but tonight you're lucky because all three of us are going live. Shauna was up first, then it's me, and right after me is Christy's Crafty Cottage. So come on in. Welcome back, my friends, and welcome if you're new. Don't forget to do all the fun, subscribey things. Subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up, and share us out. <sighs> Hello, my dear friend, Levon. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you being here. Oof. <laughs> All right. I am working on a, um, on a DIY decor sign. So I've been shopping my stash. Hey, Marie, how are you, my friend? I've missed you. I hope you are well. I hope you are well. So I've been shopping my stash um, and trying to keep this as budget friendly. Hey, Cody, I am live right now, live and on YouTube. <laughs> I was going to say in person, but I'm live. Um, so I have this scrap piece of wood that I salvaged from a construction site. It's not perfectly straight. I don't have, it's too cold to do all my, um, you know, to go outside and straighten it up. So it's a little tiny bit wonky. I'm going to work with it because it's free. <laughs> I'm going to make it work. Oh, I am so glad you are here. Oh, thank you, Levon. And I had this from Dollar Tree in my stash. It says, our family's gathering place. Sit long, talk much, laugh often. I've not used it. I, I was at Dollar Tree the other day. I bought two things and I just go over to the Crafter Square session just to look around, okay? Because I don't need to buy. And I saw these and I was like, oh, I have a couple of these signs. And then I have this from last year that I never did anything with. So originally I was going to do, I was thinking this was like kitchen, right? Kitchen area. And I was going to do something with farm animals, but then I found this in my stash. So I thought maybe we could do something like garden theme or I don't know, something like that. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do tonight. Let's put these to the side and hopefully I remember how to use these. They're, they're trans there. It's, um, Main Street Wall Creation. So there's, st it's a sticker. All right, hopefully I can get it to work. <laughs> let's see. So let's start off by using Waverly Chalk Paint. So before um, I went live, I was prepping and um, I sanded this and I painted some Jenga blocks because I'm gonna pop that fence up. Well, I'm gonna try. Hopefully it'll work. Let's see if I can make my vision come to life. All right, let's start off. My hands are not working this week. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, man. Work is getting in the way of all the fun stuff. Oh, thank you so much, Christy. I appreciate that. All right, let's pour some out. I use um, soup or can lids. This is a tomato can lid. So <laughs> while I was watching Shauna, she had some um, like static issues. Um, she was coming in and out. I th she said she thinks it's because of the wind. Which way should I go? This way. I, um, I'm having the same kind of weather. It's been raining all day. Not cold, but it's been raining all day. And an alert just went up for the wind. They say maybe snow tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Um, work, work, work. Oh, let me tell you. And it's been a week. It's been a week. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> Yesterday I left my house at 7 a.m. I got home at after 7 p.m. That's a long day. It was the busiest day I've had in a long time. 
All right, so I'm just using a dry brush and this I usually, this paintbrush is kind of wonky. Nasty weather, rainy and windy there in Maryland too. Yeah, it's just not. So they're saying we might get some snow or ice. It was 60 degrees Monday and Tuesday. Um, and then today it was in the 50s, but it was raining. It, it was, it, I mean, it's been beautiful. And they're saying tonight the temperatures are supposed to drop into the 30s. And um, we might get like some yucky weather. All right, so uh, like I was saying, I usually use this to distress, but I'm gonna paint with it tonight. Let's see how much coverage I get. And I kind of don't want a lot of coverage. Now, me saying that, I see right now that I'm getting a lot of coverage. We'll play with it and see how it goes. I am in desperate need of some crafty time, ladies. <laughs> I am so in need of this. This is what I want to do full time. <laughs> you had an alert here for a wind dust storm? No way. I'm telling you, this weather is wonky. It is wonky, wonky, wonky. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> I'm just so ready for the nice weather. I'm ready for the light. I think by the end of the month, uh, we'll get like more daylight, right? And I'm using plaster by Waverly. I absolutely love plaster. Not quite as bright as white, but not as yellowish or golden or as um, the ivory. It's, it's a nice neutral in between color. Boy, the, the more I look at this, the wonkier it is. It's not quite square lines. Tonight is in the 30s as well with high wind. Yeah, we've got high wind warnings here. It's crazy. Oh, thank you so much. I am feeling better. I don't even want to say it to jinx it. I, I am feeling so much better. The only thing I'm not feeling better about is my hands. <laughs> my hands are hurting me. I, um... I was telling somebody today, I'm like, all right, so if you don't know, I am a dental assistant. Um, and I use my hands all the time, right? To suction, to retract. The last two days we've had high stress people and they've had strong tongues and really tight lips and it's been hurting my hands to retract and hold everything back. And I'm like, no, no, this is not what I want my hands to be tired from. <laughs> Let them hurt from crafting. That makes me happy. <laughs> All right, and I'm just going around the edges. I'm not going to paint the back tonight. I don't know if I will. Maybe, maybe I'll put some... Um, uh, some of my Dollar Tree bags. I'll cut up, cut up the Dollar Tree bag and put that behind it. I don't know. All right. Give it a quick try. Hopefully it'll be quick. Now, I'm sure soon enough we're going to be t complaining about the heat and talking about how hot it is. I just hope that it's not another rainy, a rainy spring or rainy summer. We've had so much rain. Last year, it pretty much rained the whole year. And we didn't get a lot of snow either. not the snow or the cold that bothers me. It's the dark of the winter. It's just so blah. Don't you 
usually work with big pieces. This would be kind of fun. So I don't know if you could see. I love how that looks already. It's like already distressed in itself. All right, let's try. I'm going to use some unicorn spit. And I have um, rustic, rustic Reality, which is the brown, and Midnight's Blackness, which is a black. I may not use the black. And I might even just use the same paintbrush. when I get like an extra dark spot. I'm going to be sanding this piece too. so far. That was pretty quick. <laughs> I think I can add some more white. Or the plaster, I should say. What's your favorite kind of crafting? Do you do decor pieces like this? Do you work with wood? I don't usually do big pieces like this. My favorites are just small, quick and easy kind of crafts. heard a door slam. I think somebody might have a window open. <laughs> and I hear the wind blowing outside. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let me try it a little bit more. It just feels a little damp. I want to make sure that that sticker sticks to it. Maybe I'll just dress it a little bit, sand it a little bit. I'm going to get out my little alligator these detailed distressor sander. Maybe I should get the bigger one out. Oh, where did you go? Here you are. Oh, much better. So this is the bigger one. And it's a foam top, it's squishy. sanded edge. <laughs> I 
Um, tonight is in the 30s. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure. Is it coming out okay? Am I glitching? And I'm just sanding in the middle in random places. Just to have some of, I want some of the wood from beneath to show through. strength in my hands. All right, good. Thank you, Marie. Thank you. Because I know Shauna was glitching a little bit. Um, she was having wind. I've got wind. And I was having a hard time um, setting up to go live. And you coming in clear? <laughs> You're silly. Over and out, right? <laughs> Ten four. Let's see if I could use something else. went on thicker than I thought and it's really sticking really well to the um, to the board all right okay let me show you really quick I don't know if you could see just subtle all right, let's see how this thing works. I want to start with this. Probably should wipe this down, make sure it's clear of dust. What movie, Mom, am I coming in clear? I don't know. I don't know what movie. Now let's see if I can figure out how to get this off. Apply to clean, dry surface. Huh. I hope it's not broken. That was really weird. Okay, there it is. All right. Oh, boy. All right. It just didn't look right, but see how it's peeling off? It's like a craft and learn, right? At work, we have lunch and learns. <laughs> so it is a sticker. It is not... Um, a rub on transfer. Oh, goodness. And I'm just going to scrape over the top of it by putting this on top of it because I don't want to risk um, tearing the sticker. So I'm just going to burnish it, you know, like you do vinyl sometimes. Don't know if you have to do this, but I'm not taking any chances. Oh, how pretty. Love that. 
that. Okay. All right, so next time I do this and I forget how to do it, remind me. <laughs> Didn't you know you had... I do. Hi, Tina. I do have a YouTube channel. Welcome. Welcome. Um, I, I'm, be, I'm part of the Art Artistry Collective with Shauna from Fraps and Scraps and Christy from Christy's Crafty Cottage. We try to go on every Wednesday. We don't always make it and we don't all make it. And sometimes we all make it like tonight. So Shauna is first. And the links to their channels are in my description. And Christy's on after me. Okay, now, this piece. This is one of those plastic fence, fence signs from Dollar Tree. Here it is and it's full. Now, I went ahead and painted some Jenga blocks in black because I want this to kind of pop. Because, you know, dimension is everything. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to just figure out where I have to cut it. Um, and I have my wire snips. Man, I hope this works. I hope I can make this work. This is what I was thinking about all day, except originally I was going to use, I was thinking of a kitchen sign, but then I knew I had this fence. So then I was thinking a garden sign or, you know, gardening with flowers. So I've got all my greenery and some flowers over here. So I'm going to add it to this piece and hopefully... Here we go. And it cuts really easily. This is just like flip flimsy kind of plastic. And it does cut easily. I'm just having, oh, thank you, Marie. <laughs> um, it looks like I'm struggling, but only because my hands are hurting. <laughs> um, but on a day where my hands aren't hurting, it's no trouble to cut this. It, it's really flimsy and easy to cut. Okay. Is that going to be pretty? If I can make it work. All right. Um, so I painted the Jenga blocks black just in case you'd be able to see to see them through, you know, not through the fence, but it might be wider than, than the fence. Um, and now the gluing part. I don't know if... See, I just want to show you the back of the fence. Do you see how it's indented here? And the Jenga block, not that it won't fit inside it. It just fits on the outsides of it. And I want to add some of uh, the Beacon Fabri-Tac glue. It's going to make me think a little bit. Okay. And hopefully I can get the glue in the right spots. 
I'm putting the glue on the edge because it's the edges touch. I think I'm just going to use hot glue. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Just use the hot glue because this glue is not even touching. I left this one side of the whole Jenga block. I left that side blank because I'm going to glue this to the board. I'm just putting the hot glue on the edge of the Jenga block. And it doesn't seem to be melting the fence, <laughs> the fence posts here. <sighs> Just running a bead of glue. And if you are turning tuning in. My name is Leah. This is Make All the Things with Me and I am crafting with my friends, the Artistry Collective, which is Shauna from Fraps and Scraps and Christy from Christy's Crafty Cottage. And we try to go live on Wednesday nights. And if you would mind just subscribing to our channels, hit that notification button for when we go live. Um, to comment, you do have to have a Google account. So sign in to your Google account so you can join in on the fun. Okay. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Might have to paint some more Jengas. I think originally I was going to do every other post. So I counted them out, started painting them. I'm trying to make them even going across. Just I usually use Jenga blocks for dimension. I rarely use them for anything else. All right. Um, all right, let's paint these up really quick. I'm just using the black gel stain. And I'm doing this because you'll be able to see them.
So this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like on this side. So before I glued that down, I am going to put a piece of green burlap. And I'm not sure where this is from. I'm going to say it's from Dollar Tree. Because they do, you know, usually every season they'll offer a color. You know, I think I got this last summer or in the fall. And I'm hoping this will kind of camouflage the wonkiness of the piece, the, the, the piece, because it's not totally squared. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. And just be careful because the hot glue does go through the burlap. And I'm just running a bead all the way across the bottom. Okay. Okay, now the tricky part. Getting the fence onto the board. And I am going to use wood glue and hot glue. And this is um, wood glue from Dollar Tree. It's the super, super glue wood glue. Now, I hope I can work fast enough with the hot glue. Have another glue stick ready. All right, here we go. I'm just going to paint some of the, the Jenga blocks that are showing a little bit. So originally I was thinking of distressing <clears throat> this fence post with some of the, the white or the plaster. There's not much you absolutely... <laughs> Um, I was going to put, you know, just to stress some white on it, but then I decided, no, I just want to keep it like it is. This is what I have so far. I love it. I'm looking at it and I love it. 
Oh my goodness, I really do. Okay, let's start adding some greenery and some flowers. And let me just put a glue stick in there. Okay. Oh my goodness, where to start? Where to start? I hope I have enough, enough greenery. And of course I'm gonna use my little pink mushrooms. This is from Dollar Tree too. Oh, thanks, Levon. Oh, can't even get those undone. All right. Hmm. I don't know. This is the hard part. How do I want it? How much, how much do I want? All right. I want some poking out. I want some behind the fence. And the hot glue does not melt this fence post either. And there is going to be a ton, a ton of glue strings. And my thinking is kind of like ivory, ivory, ivy. <laughs> I could be here till next week <laughs> figuring out where to put these pieces. And since I put that burlap down, the glue holds really well to the burlap. this fun green stuff and I've got some purple flowers oh and this I mean I'm gonna have to go buy some more <laughs> some more greenery so my idea when I was thinking about doing a kitchen and I have this um I'll just show you what I have where is it Oh, where are you? Um, I have this metal pig. I'll find it in a sec. Um, and I was going to use that and kind of make it like a kitchen farmhouse sign. But I don't know. I started reading the saying more and I was just thinking of a garden. And then I don't know if this will get a bow or not. If I can find a place that I like to put a bow, then I will put a bow there. some pretty this is like lavender right and 
and I'm not sure where these came from. This um, boxwood is from Walmart. It comes like this, and I'm not sure how much it is. If anybody knows of a good place to get um, boxwood at a decent price um, for a lot of it, I would love, I would love the advice. I've, um, I've heard of some people getting it from Amazon, but then not getting exactly what they thought they were getting. So if you have a good supply source, I would love that information because I do like boxwood. <laughs> right? And boxwood is always found by fencing. Goodness, let me show you what I have so far. Oh, I've got about 15 minutes left. But, oh my gosh, look how pretty. Look how pretty so far. All right, this is like coming out better than what I thought it would. <laughs> this went beyond beyond what I was thinking, what I was envisioning. And I love when that happens. Some mushrooms here and there. Oh my goodness. If I don't finish by nine o'clock, this is, I'll be up late tonight working on this. I'll be, thank you, Cody. I'll be watching um, Christy and working on this. I work till four tomorrow, so shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Just be tired for a little bit of the day. <laughs> I can get through the day. Would you put um, a bow on this? Would you use ribbon and put a bow on it? You know, I, I always say not everything needs a bow. All right, I did not think that I would have this much fun decorating this piece. But so simple, just some flowers, a board, a sticker, and this, I think I'm gonna have to go to Dollar Tree and get um, another one of these fence posts. Thank you, Marie. Oh, thank you, Tina. I'm so glad you stopped by.
yeah, I'm definitely going to go get some more of these. Because now the ideas are flowing. Maybe I could do this with like um, a cow or a pig. Where is that pig? I have to show you what I was going to do. I don't know where. Oh, here it is. Here's the pig. I was going to do like a kitchen sign. But then I decided I wanted like a garden. I thought this gathering place was more suited for a garden. Oh, I'm having a hard time cutting. There we go. And I'm definitely going to need some more boxwood. <laughs> oh, the glue strings are everywhere. And let's see. This is pretty. And I have so, so I just, I'm cutting little bits and pieces out of each floral arrangement that I have. Um, so it's going to last me. I can, I can stretch this out. <laughs> and we could still be budget friendly. Oh, you know what? I have one of those, a couple of those um, pit berries that are in. Um, you can come and decorate your house. <laughs> oh, I don't know how good I'd be at that, but be fun to try. What's your style? What's your favorite style? In the last few years, I've been a minimalist. Just a few decorations here and there. And then we have, um, I talk about her all the time. I have a naughty kitty. And she climbs up on everything. And um, she knocks things down. So she's worse than a child. So it's, it's hard to decorate um, because she just knocks things down. She climbs up on everything. I have about nine minutes left and I I know I'm not going to get done in nine minutes I am not going to put um, a bow on this I am just going to fill this with flowers and greenery and I'm going to keep working on it <laughs> You've been working to make a lifestyle change to be more minimalist. I mean, your home has way too many items. I hear you, Cody. I hear you. I was like that a few years ago. And um, it was too much. <laughs> so I needed to uh, 
just tone it down. It's a good feeling. It's a really good feeling. You don't have that much to dust. And then I, you know, I was like upset when I have, you know, this kitty that climbs up everything and knocks everything down. But it, it's kind of a good thing because I don't, um, I don't have a lot of stuff out. <laughs> simple. I love simple. I'm all about simple. Just a little touch here and there. Let's see, let's see. Maybe one of these. So when I um do these things, I um I'm not a floral designer. I I don't know really what's supposed to go with whatever. I just kind of go by how it makes me feel. If I like it and it feels good, <laughs> it gets glued down. So this is what I have so far. I mean... I just got to add a little bit more over here and I think it's good. I think I can call it almost done. I didn't use all of my boxwood. That's a plus. You used to decorate like crazy for every holiday. The last few years, you've gotten rid of so much. I know, me too. Me too. I just have just a few little accent pieces. Um, what I did a couple years ago, I put my, my kids' artwork from art class that I thought was like really spectacular. I framed it. The bigger pieces, I frame them and I have them up and they go perfectly. I absolutely love that. And it's meaningful. And then the pieces that I've made that I love. But I, I do got to tell you that, you know, Dollar Tree, they have their little, um, their little signs and stuff. Some of them are so, so cute that I'll just, I, I don't revamp them. I don't redo them. I'll keep it just how it is. Like a couple years ago, they had those little wood pumpkin. Um, they were long uh, with the, you know, with the stem and about when they had a beautiful saying, um, one was about being blessed and being grateful. Um, and it, it's written in glitter, but I don't even mind because the saying is so beautiful. It's black with gold glitter that I actually keep it up all year round. And I have, um, I love pumpkins. So I have like pumpkins that are a little bit different, just in random places around my house. Let's see, a little mushroom over on this side. It's really, really windy. Do you hear it? Do you hear that? It's really windy. Can anybody hear that? And it's pouring. <gasps> I hope we don't lose power. All right, you know what? 
I'm going to call this done. Here it is. What do you think? Give you an up close. And then you can see the, from the side the dimension. Um, I'm really happy with this. I really wasn't sure, but I'm definitely going to be making another one. I, I love this. So I'm going to finish the back of it because it deserves to be finished. Thank you, Marie. Oh, thank you, Shauna. Thank you, Tina. And thank you so much for being here. So Christy's going to come on in three minutes. Wednesday is our YouTube night. We start at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Shauna comes on first from Scraps and Scraps. You see her right there. Um, um, then I come on, Leo from Make All the Things With Me at 8 p.m. And then Christy is up after me at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And it's, she's Christy from Christy's Crafty Cottage. She is our collaborator. She gets, she got us all together. We try to get together every Wednesday. Sometimes you'll catch all three of us. Sometimes you'll catch two of us. Sometimes none of us. <laughs> Thank you, LaVon. Um, so if you're catching this on a replay, subscribe, um, put the thumbs up, share us with your friends, um, click their links to their pages in my description below. Give them a follow. They are amazing women. Thank you, Cody. You have a hard time buying some things, especially when you can make it exactly, exactly, exactly. I am the exact same way. Um, I would see this sign and I, I, I really do like it. <laughs> I would see this sign and I'd be like, ooh, um, I did a dupe of a sign that I saw on, on Wayfair, which was, $53. I made it for just a few dollars. I used Easter bunnies and a welcome sign. Everything was from Dollar Tree. Um, I I love doing that. That That's where I find my inspiration. I take a picture, come home and just, you know, go off of that and, you know, make my own, my own version of it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This is plywood. I got it from a construction site. So it's a little wonky, but can you tell that it's wonky? You cannot. You totally cannot tell it's wonky. And I even know it's wonky and I'm not even looking at the wonkiness because of all of this. I just love this. So I'm going to finish it off. I'm going to finish the back. I'm going to put a hanger on the back and I'm going to display this. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. And as always, please know that you are not alone and that you matter. And I appreciate you being here. Have a great night, everyone. And I'll see you over on Christie's page.